Well, we welcome you to Little John Coliseum in Clemson, South Carolina, for a battle of two top 20 teams inside the ACC. Clemson Cavaliers, Dave O'Brien, Corey Alexander coming to you from our homes. We're getting a look at a couple of outstanding ACC Player of the Year candidates. Certainly, we take a look at who is made of more. Brought to you by... He's the leading three-point shooter this season for Georgia Tech. Virginia's in a traveling dark blue. Georgia Tech in the white. We're ready to go. From Atlanta, Georgia, Tom Warby, Corey Alexander, and our outstanding ACC... But Virginia looking to get off to a good start in this one. Uh, something that's plagued them in the last three games, which have led to losses. Want to come out sharp. Trey Murphy hunting his shot is a good sign as he's struggling the last two. First team all-conference player. And certainly was a strong candidate for player of the year in the ACC. Murphy off the mark. Trey Murphy's a transfer from... Kihei Clark rarely turns it over. Hauser and Huff combining for about 30 points a game between the two of them. And a nice move in the paint by Trey Murphy. And this is what I've said, uh, Dave. La vida. 14 días, sí, debido al COVID-19. Pero bueno, viene en un buen momento, viene dulce. No se espera tanto de decir a que quizás clasificar el campeonato del NCAA, pero no que sea candidato. Pero si juega como jugó ante los hockey de... <laughs> They're in because Virginia uses the clock more than any other team in the country. Excellent extra pass leads to an open three in the first bucket of the game for Trey Murphy. It is off of Alvarado and will be Virginia basketball. And just when we said he didn't have to junk it up, Josh Pierce to go to a 1 3 1 zone. So, of course, he's going to stay with his usual trick. Dynamic, personal look. And Tony Bennett said to us yesterday, look, we're seeing a lot more teams do that to that four out, that five out. Trey Murphy on the drive with a tough two. Told you a second start for the Rice Train. Day, a win at Louisville, which clinched them the regular season title. And the number one seed for the fifth time in the last eight years. Nice move by Trey Murphy, the 6'9 junior from. Here's Sam Hauser. He's been red hot the last couple of games. It, a double team passes out of it. Murphy has to heave. And that's a shot clock violation. By seven footers like Jay Huff. Yeah, and that's an excellent block. And the thing I like about that block. He kept it in play. A lot of times you'll see guys block it out of bounds. Huff deflected it and then kept the strength in there. And already, Brooke, what you said right off the top, the size discrepancy allowed Huff to get on the offensive glass. Trey oh, Murphy rises dish. up. That was a great, great dish from Clark. Out to a wide open shooter. Take what that defense gives you. Thunderbird denied the pass up top for Hauser on the baseline. The finish for Murphy as he gets on the board. I had a lot of beautiful people there. A lot of beautiful things happen, but when that snow and ice get the best of me. Yeah, you missed the pizza though. I know that. <laughs> yeah, Barcelona with the got a food. And we had a lot of success in that first outing. Look for them to give him a heavy dose of touches in this game to go on with Nate Lashevsky. Trey Murphy, the answer. He buries a. Quincy para qué la picó Guerrier? Era un cachanchut, así se toma un segundo extra y casi que pierde el ritmo, termina fallando. Aquí también cachanchut, pero termina fallando Hauser con el rebote. Atacando Virginia, que se queda por de ventaja al intento de triple. Triplazo. Great movement there. I mean, play, playing off each other in, in terms of good games. Just trying to get their reps in, really. Trey Murphy, the transfer from three. It's off the front of the rim. That was a pleasant surprise when he. We know Mark Williams has stepped into a larger role, and this go, that goes back a few weeks now. Jamin Brakefield has picked up some more minutes as uh, Virginia gets an easy one from Trey Murphy, the third outstanding transfer from Rice. It's just his second three of the year, Mike. And go around the perimeter. Murphy. 
Yeah, you, you know, you swing against even against a good defense, if you swing the ball from side to side. A step on Alvarado. Lost the handle though. Hauser cleans it up. Possession still alive for the Cavaliers. Here's Murphy for three. Can't connect. Guarded by Matthew Hurt. They're gonna go after him and make him defend. Beekman to Murphy, and Virginia extends the lead. You don't see the Who's in transition very. Here on the floor right now, you see Braxton Beverly into the game for the first time for NC State. They do lose some height there. Seven inches difference between Sebron and Beverly. Carolina one for ten. Virginia two for six, but both of their field goals are threes by the big guys. That's a backdoor cut by Trey Murphy. Hey, Murphy's been a good player for them. 14.6 per outing. And also, Thomas Wolden Tense. Strong to the rack. Trey Murphy. Game. Strong second half performance. So fundamental. When you look at Virginia, make very few mistakes. Always seem to make the right pass. There's, the there's a good one from Reese Beekman. Droughts seem more problematic against Virginia than any team because of this vaunted pack line defense. Murphy and hop the board. And we have a foul on B. Under Hamilton calls his program the New Bloods. With only Duke in between and Florida State gaining on Duke rapidly. Three-point shot wouldn't go for Trey Murphy. A two extended run. To rotate the ball around the wheel. And Virginia misses their first three of the contest as Murphy. Murphy being late weak side, that's a Rice transfer who hasn't been in the program long enough to understand the expectation there no matter how talented he is. And with six seconds on the shot clock, a deep. La antimofa no funciona, no? No, yo dije bueno, a veces hay salto pero que llegue el azúcar. Otra vez se mete entre líneas, la levanta y el ali hubo. Indefensible. Over 40 a game, yeah. and two brothers, and they did it back to back years. That's impressive. Murphy lets fly. He's off to a chilly start. Hit back on top by one. As Mike referenced, Kihei Clark, part of that national championship team. Murphy with a strong move off the glass and in. Straight line drive again. There. Another talented shooter to Tony Bennett's team with Sam Hauser and Thomas Wolden Tensai. They will be a problem when you put multiple three-point shooters on the court. And that was... Oh, Murphy denied at the rim. Both Sadar Cal... He wants home court advantage. He wants to play that tournament right here at John Paul Jones Arena. And here comes Clark. He's got Murphy. And that one knocked wow. away. Good pursuit that time defensively. Clip over 40% uh, percent from the three-point line. Jay Heath has been balling for the Eagles. There's a three by Murphy, and he rattles it home. Trey quit messing with this dumb waiver business uh, because most guys are getting waivers, and then the ones that are sitting out and aren't getting their waivers, the reason their waiver's being denied doesn't make any sense at all. Won that for a majority of that evening in Central New York. Looked like it would be a Wolfpack win. He had 24 and 10, a new career high. And Virginia quick to respond. A three-pointer. Clark, a look at that shot clock inside 10. Spinning back into the paint. Nice catch there on the baseline, and Murphy will connect. And you asked Tony Bennett yesterday just how the layoff affects that defensive oh. growth as Morcel goes oh. up for a slam. And my goodness, the Cavaliers are getting every dunk they can do a game. They will test you once in a while with an early push, but generally hey. make good judgments. Murphy along the baseline, and the paint is able to get it to go. Uh, that timeout certainly helped. Play you know, I believe he will definitely do that before the end of this season. But Jay Huff is special when he's having to guard on the post area. The struggles for him this year have been having to guard on the perimeter. Another miss, but now the follow by Trey Murphy, the 6'9 junior.
Here's Hauser passing out of traffic. Murphy open for three. He can't make Georgia Tech pay. Clockwise, not tempo. <laughs> There's Durham again, couldn't get it to drop. Yeah, it's a mortar and pestle type of game when these two collide, thanks in large part to the tempo. By Lechewski, that's now six straight misses for this Notre Dame team. They have started ice cold. Murphy, he's the sharpshooter, has a make today, but misses that one. Retirement.org. <laughs> Navigating inhospitable space requires a stream. And Dolezal can be dangerous in this game because of his ability to make plays not only in the middle of the Virginia defense, but also off the bounce. Difficult for Jay Huff to guard a guy like Dolezal. Nice soft. Offered under the Affordable Care Act. Find free enrollment help, quality coverage, and financial help. Don't assume all plans are equal. Visit GetCoverIllinois.gov or call us to find the health plan you need. Here's Huff again. This time he puts it on the floor. Pass out Murphy at three. He hits it. Trey Murphy, the sharpshooter, ties it at 19. Here's Trey Murphy at 6'9 out of Durham, North Carolina. Muscling his way in, but a misfire. A Louisville also with an awful lot to play for. Victory. El pase rebotado. A la pintura. Ahora fuera con Hauser. Muy alto. Hauser que penetra. Afuera con Murphy intentando el triple. Triplazo, triplazo, otra vez el triple. Venía fallando el intento de triple. Boyhem, Clark, a la esquina con Murphy. Intenta el doble largo en el aro. El rebote que finalmente. Green light and you don't. <laughs> and he makes yeah. it certain to guys, hey, you know, there are certain shots that you take, certain shots that you don't take. But I'm sure he has given both those guys the green light whenever they get, I'm not even going to say open. All the ten side, putting it to the deck. Slamming on the brakes. Clark gives it away, and the slam by Murphy. And we saw a lot of that from Trey. Rare opportunity. Virginia does not give up many offensive rebounds. That's another one of the staples of the defense in this program is finishing plays. So when you see them give up an offensive rebound, you know that there's a gentleman on the gate. The swing gate. <laughs> but I digress. Clark, a no-look. Murphy, catch and release, and he's ripping the ropes for Virginia. Access to Canva Pro and three months of free instant ink. Now through January 15th, happy crafting. Searching for meaning in a relentless world, always connected. I didn't get a piece of it, but did enough to alter the shot. Five on four the other way for the Cavaliers. Open man, easy slam, Trey Murphy the third. San Francisco. Our under eight timeout, it's a 13-2 run for Todd Golden's team. Big step back jumper in the lane. He's just a gamer and obviously he's got a national title to go along with his name. Swish at the end of the shot clock. Well, Virginia sent a message to the rest of the ACC. Be wary. We've got some offensive firepower this season to go along with that stingy defense. Murphy steps outside. Five threes per game last year. They've already reached that point here in the first half. <laughs> There's number six. Murphy hits his second up. Native of Indiana. Well, they've allowed 2,200 fans inside KFC Young Center. On the back door, and a slam by Murphy. And that'll keep him quiet. Yeah, in a score for Virginia over 15 points per game. And that's Alvarado determined to get to the rim. That's special right there, Corey. It, it really Fearless. is. Fearless. 
Virginia shooting 52%. They've made four of their last five shots. Murphy has the hat trick in the first half. Not only is he putting in a lot of work on the offensive end, guarding the leading scorer for Virginia. Murphy on a hand up, leaves it short. Defended well by Seabron. Fouled, but there have been a ton of fouls that have gone uncalled in this game, which tends to happen when Virginia plays, that there, there aren't a lot of fouls called, and there's a lot of physicality. Coming up, a significant win Thursday night against Notre Dame on this very floor here in Chestnut Hill. Wall defense by Justin Vanderbon and CJ. He's playing with a lot of confidence Boy, in this ball game. He sure is. Murphy for three, and it's good. When a shooter gets a cone, and that kid can shoot. Los palazos en esta época de pandemia. Sí, exacto. Lo único que falta es que el Bucaramanga gane la Champions. El pase afuera, intento de triple. En el aro. Lo intentaba Trey Murphy, que tuvo. McCoy putting it to the deck. Another one getting a little extra playing time as of late. Won that one back and a long three won't drop. Alvarado. You can hear the discipline. Ebron, who got the first start of his young Wolfpack career, just his 13th game in uniform after a redshirt season last year. Murphy uncontested to the basket with Beverly surfing underneath. El tiempo, muy bien la defensa de Virginia. Cuando no pudo Quincy Guerrier. Arriba ahora se acomoda para tres. En el aro. Le quería ganar. His right pulls it down. Back in 2012, Corey and I had the honor of calling the very first game in this building a win against Tulane. We did. It was a different time way back then, of course. Eight Certainly years ago was. for us. Is we were kids. This is the handle. What a move. Good, quick move there by Shabazz, but couldn't convert. Puff went down hard. And at the other end, it's Reese B. So Brad Soderberg, they're back in Charlottesville. Yeah, and really, we talked to Tony Bennett about what that game was like. He said, look, I looked down the end of the bench uh, when we were uh, going through a bad spurt, and I didn't have any. Lead the league, but that's well below their season average. Usher, the fake and the drive up and under. Huff for Usher. But you see why Jordan Husser had such a good game against Virginia. He is selling the... And Ayayi, they don't need to score in to order for this them. team to be good. No, they're very unselfish. I mean, Mark's done a wonderful job with these guys buying in. All about winning. I've seen a few... Two minutes to go till the Jeep halftime report. Murphy banks at home. He's had a good first half. A step through by Murphy. And Miami seemed to get the last. Five minutes. Now, last year he was forced to run offense too. Ten seconds left. He's caught the double team. Gets it back. Murphy for three. It's good. Ooh, that's gotta get. Griffin had just three points in the first half on three free throws. He was fouled shooting a three. Dolajai there to contest the Murphy shot. Huff kept the reach out and grab. A lot of guys can't do that. He made it look easy. Well, he was the hottest hand when this game got underway. Murphy. And really didn't put tip it back out to one of his teammates. Kihei Clark. Reese Beekman. Trey Murphy for the tie. And Virginia has gotten to 16 from three. 50% from deep for the Cavaliers today. Well, the one that uh, they don't probably mind having shooting jumpers is Kihei Clark. But if he's starting to knock out park in Pittsburgh well I told you when we talked about this before the game that I wasn't gonna Google it right yep so my answer is I have absolutely no idea
All right, just take a guess. Okay. So if, if you like defense, you've tuned into the right game. Five seconds on the shot clock again. Step back three. It's good. Trey Murphy the third. That's the third made three for Hauser and a block shot for Huff. He averages two and a half blocks per game, second best in the ACC. Oh, oh, and it sets up Trey Murphy at the other end. 17 and 14 on Sunday against Syracuse. There's the second double double of his career. That 6'6 six, six size over a smaller defender to get a necessary bucket for the Orange. Hey, hey, Clark. Has it back from Beekman. Murphy. Kihei Clark. Capable from there, shooting a respectable 35%. Uh, but he's going to have that green light, so they're going to look to ride him. Uh, beautiful thing for Miami is the counterparts on his team, his teammates have really delivered as well. Murphy to follow. And then here, Jay Huff, he knows what's coming. He just is off balance, and he can't get up high enough to knock that one away. And that's Manny Bates' best offensive move. He's getting up shots. Get that shooting. He hey Clark, Virginia needs a basket. Murphy had three threes in the first half. That's number four, Trey. Los que tenemos el sentido del humor prendido. Hauser. Penetra. Ahora la esquina, entiendo el triple desde el lado derecho, de lado. He's been off the baseline screen. We'll pick and pop with Murphy. Ooh, thought that was good. We let it go. Rattled out. Shot clock to six. Clark giving it up. Here's Murphy got to let fly. And an ugly looking shot. It's Ray Murphy blowout you turn away you go watch a macgyver rerun you come back a half hour later and maybe it's really tightened up at that time the way virginia shooting it no <laughs> it's going to be emerged with sprint now it's about to get even better and as we work to integrate sprint's network our nationwide 5g keeps getting stronger with the capacity he's done more for us and he's done more for our program uh, than we could imagine and a really just a remarkable story of what the folks at Team Impact do. His career high from beyond the arc. Oh, oh, no. And the Go shot on. is off the mark, but the save by Shedrick. And the three is good for Murphy. Yeah, I like Shedrick. Long and lean. Tony Bennett knows that absolutely. Virginia without a me. Esté pegando, ¿no? A la boca. Sí. Uno se, uno se, no digo que le guste, pero se acostumbra. Big Blasso desde la esquina para los three one. Different look. Hauser kicks it out. Murphy halfway down, but that one Gophers out. Good. I'm excited for that. It's gonna be oh, a great season. Yeah, it absolutely will be. Uh, fresh off finishing up at the bubble, of course. Uh, out I'm of the time the out here. Are coming back. You think so? Seven footer. On the baseline, Beacon was cut off, but found Murphy for three. By Sam Hauser, and then he wound up saving the ball, but it was the deflection that made the play. Good change of pace by Kihei Clark. Big three in the air, no good. The bench really wanted that. They, you know, Obi, I talked about on November 25th, the first game that ESPN Family Networks aired this year. I talked about how I felt like this Virginia team could defend their defensive rotations. We saw from Jose Alvarado on that pass possession. Nine points for Alvarado, four of seven from the floor, including that easy layup and a made three-pointer. To some NBA execs flirted with going a, a pro and you know again I think he's definitely a guy that's going to play for a paycheck and I think the big reason why his mobility he's a big not only great ball rotation three rattles in and out 
Clark's got a dozen for Virginia. Pairing up with Huff, who leads the way with 13. Tomorrow, New Year's Eve. Kings back at mm -hmm. the start of the month. Kane's beating them 77-75. So as we talk about the resume, Kane's can take credit for maybe being one of those teams that ultimately leaves Duke out if that's the way it goes. One thing I'll say for certain, though, Foul call. A jolt of energy. 41 to 35. Technical difficulties with Dan Dockich. We'll get Dan back as soon as we can. They need a shot. Tough one by Dolajai. Hits the side of the backboard. And there's a shot clock violation. Well, they are, especially when you come in and take on the team that is supposed to be the best defensive team, you know, in the ACC. And one of the things we've talked about, Obi, you know, when you have to take the break. Good defense by Walter Tensai to take that turn of the corner away from Milstead. Sí, bueno, pero y no, y no, y, que me me brule, pronunciación <laughs> caray. El pase a la esquina, Murphy intenta el triple en el aro, rebota, buscaba Hobbs, se queda con ella. Sin embargo, tira Hughes. Marcel on the drive finds Murphy. Jordan Usher with some terrific defense. Virginia's gone two minutes and Got away with that, and it winds up with Murphy, and he buries a three. Led by Helms with eight. On the other side, Huff, the leading scorer for Virginia with ten. Big six points, good. Protecting the rim, good. But three assists as well, early in the first half when those... Steals last year at 56, and he's a 41% three-point shooter, so having him back on the floor, even though he doesn't look like he's moving as well as he'd like to. Seven late in the first half, Virginia has built a 25 to six run. Karnick, nice move. And my partner Dan Dockich want to welcome him back on the phone from home. Dan, how's it going? Three by Hauser, who scored the last eight Virginia points. Action. That's what Virginia Tech does. Back door left, wide open. There's your answer, says Trey Murphy. That's we had 71 points in the first 20 minutes of play. We've had 19 points in the last 12 minutes of play. Virginia's been especially bad from the three-point line here in the second half. One of ten from beyond. Timberlake's provided a lift for Towson, but not that time from beyond the arc. Drive and kick, corner three, Murphy. And Murphy with his fifth three of the... Just because he played at Marquette, I mean, it's, you know, a great conference, a great program, but this is, it's a different deal playing at Virginia, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to take him time, and it looks like he's starting to round in form. Consistent. Virginia's on an 11-0 run. Morcel volleys it off the glass, keeps it alive. Murphy left alone, hits it! Number six. Dairy air discomfort. We try to soothe it with this. Cool it with this. And relieve it with this. Murphy for three. He's fires. That time, nobody. Foul against Trey Murphy. Boy, that was about the slowest developing charge, I think, that you've ever seen. Murphy is really having a tough time handling the ball, and Thunderbird was. Continue to produce, continue to prove, excuse me, as, as you're going through the year. Pick and pop three from Walker, no good. They'll live with him shooting that. Cochera on the drive. Morcel and Huff were there defensively for Virginia. 
Well, there hasn't been too much to the last minute fees. When you want something badly enough, it feels like your only choice is to pay up. But what if you had a choice to take a stand instead? At Carvana, we believe in treating you better. With zero. Uyalamo has battled but has not been able to finish. That's a mismatches, but uh, Virginia Tech doing a nice job staying with Hauser and not giving up anything easy. Another tough take inside. We talk a lot about Jones going one on one through the paint wall to ten side. Nice recovery, and Virginia has it back. Yeah, and you know what happened? Jones moved, but uh, it was an efficient performance this afternoon for him. You want to talk about an efficient performance? Take a look at this. Finish. Bodies tangled up behind Dolajai. Little pick and roll. To be on the all defensive team in the conference. And Murphy's three gives the Hoos a three point edge with three and a half to go. In the second time. In the last four possessions where Virginia hey, just about anybody in right. conference You're at, absolutely at, right Mike. At, at any time in a couple of days notice you could get a substitute opponent opponent out of the blue Give it to him wherever I mean talk about confidence catches that thing in stride a couple of fish and dribbles Get to the rim and then watch Kihei Clark right here a show from Lasheski late to get you hear about the defense of Virginia and how difficult they are to score against I'm sure that was something that really played into the part of the, the, the really the lag that Clemson had in the for North Carolina Dick and a loss in this game might not hurt them much but boy a win if somehow they're able to pull a three minute come from behind miracle here would certainly help them in a huge waiting to meet Huff at the rim ultimately I think it's Funderburg who blocks the shot but talk about a group that is a sense of urgency connected Helms comes but the recovery from from Funderburg Towson and San Francisco's turned around hit 13 against the Cavaliers it's an 8-0 run the Dons by seven well, right now for Virginia there's a, it's been a struggle offensively another miss CAA men's field of 68 as the teams are announced. 29 points, by the way, for Buddy Beheim, the most ever by a Syracuse player in the ACC tournament. They've been to a conference. And he commits the foul to Hauser. One more to give to put them in the one and one. After that, but for Jason, and really they were at Duke and North Carolina respectively at the times where the other program was really really good <laughs> not that that's just a really good play he had some room on the inside and he took advantage la pintura pasa afuera Hauser intenta el triple tapona sin embargo la recuperación vuelve a ser para Bigman a la esquina Murphy intentando el triple en el lado Recupera y se viene en transición Siraquino Rodríguez y con Memo Celis. Todo un equipo de profesionales de ESPN trabajando para usted. Arriba para Lali. ¡Oh, oh, oh, va! Y esta vez el Murphy. ¿Quién la levantó? Aquí? Hey, Clark. But really never got it to single digits in the second half. It's a great take from Cormac Ryan. He's been a bright spot in the second half. Right, Kev, thank you very much. And the New York Life ACC tournament begins Tuesday on ACC Network. Three first round games, all of them start in the second half for Kihei Clark after not scoring in the first half. And right now, Georgia Tech comes out of timeout in that 1 3 1 zone. A huge one from the corner, and the fans have not given up. 2,200 inside the KFC Yum Center, 66 to 58. Trying to do it with defense, did not force a turnover there. They break it. Sure. Pull to 10 side for three, no good. And the save on the baseline by Shedrick. 
And the three is good by Murphy. Nice little kick out for Murphy. What's up, Ski Hey Clark? How's her? No, no, no. No le gusta. Intenta triple, triplazo. Quedó Murphy solo. En la esquina derecha, Trey Murphy. Wayne Bacon, all those guys have been drafted uh, in the last, I think, four years. And you know they they develop at Florida State as they do it at Virginia, but it's a it's sort of different. So I'm able to basically see over, but it's not just that. He's got such a good feel for the game and a, a good understanding of the game, and knew that that was basically a hockey assist, getting out of that double team. And then but eventually they get a they get a contested three, but a nice job there. Allen catches it in rhythm, and is able to knock it down over the much taller Murphy. Arena, Corey Alexander, Dave O'Brien from our homes. Mine considerably colder than Corey's down south. The sweet jumper by Hauser, and we're starting to get that. I won't call it luck. Of no, opportunity. Never luck. Of course not. <laughs> well, he had some really bright spots a year ago, too. He had 18 in that game when he shot against Carolina, but he is sizzling here. Where it was Jay Huff finding Trey Murphy on some backdoor cuts. But the Wolfpack have not had any lapses like that. Although they do here, leaving Clark wide open for three. I don't know if that fits as a broadcaster. That that's where my brain goes. I hate it. Yeah, it's just weird now. A last second shot from Morcel falls short. So NC State winners there. They'll try and do it again in this game today. The positions. This is a big game for number 10 in red. Up with a catch in traffic. And oh, stuffs oh, it down. <laughs> With some of them of the bench for bench minutes, which is bottom 30 in the nation. So he leans on the starters a lot, but these bench guys, Justin McCoy in particular, Kafaro, have a big impact in this game early. This has been not a lot of offense here in the, the first eight minutes of the second half. And it's funny because it was at a much faster pace than anybody would have thought in the first half. Again, UVA by IE. Early leads are miscellaneous. Early leads just got to hang tough, run their stuff. Nice cut here. Bowser in the paint. Does he get to the free throw line? He does. At end one. He's been able to win early. Should have a nice year. No look pass cut off. And here come the Cavaliers. And off the back of the iron, Morcel is able to finish.
And we welcome you here to Charlottesville, Virginia. Early on in the first half, the Pitt Panthers looking for an upset over the number 14 team in the country, the Virginia Cavaliers. Dave I feel silly, <laughs> but I do want the fastest 5G network. Oh, I want the fastest 5G network. Are we actually doing this again? It's not complicated. Only AT&T gives everyone the same. So no Hauser on the floor at the moment for Virginia. That ball is going to NC State. They've got a pick and roll, but electing not to throw into what inevitably would be a turnover, kick it to the baseline for the open three-point look, and connect it. That is how you beat Virginia, but you have to have the threats. We're tournament time, man. It is here, JC. I can't believe it's here. When you said that, I was like, wait, what? Yep. Women start this Wednesday. The men will start the following week, both in Greensboro Coliseum, if you want to... And there's a violation there if he misses it. Beekman went in early. And yep, that'll be pulled back. I think you're right, but one thing Jim Laranerica does make a point of saying it, it is true, believe, but there you go. Uh, all out of the set offense. 72-49. Nice steal. And Murphy has it knocked away. Suggs, such good hands. Heads to the basket. That have gone uncalled in this game. Thomas Walter-Tenzai on the floor in comparison to Reese Beek, but now Kihei Clark has four shooters on the perimeter to take his options for finding that assist. Yeah, Walter-Tenzai, 43% from three. Yeah, it looks like it will. Coach Beheim has just summoned Alan Griffin. Hauser makes the free throw. Wobble trying to cut in. He'll swing it up top. Slazinski can't hit, and he can't get a second shot. Sampson. <laughs> Ralph Sampson has more blocks than the second, third, and fourth guys combined on the Virginia career list. Great play by Murphy. Wow. He is time. Georgia Tech has been able to get a shot clock violation against Virginia in this first half. And Virginia's offense, which has been great all season long, averaging 71 and a half points per game. Trying to answer with a three. He already has two made triples today. Trey Wirtz on the drive, straight into hop this time. Didn't get a piece of it, but did enough to alter the shot. 
Pack line defense isn't going to give you anything at the rim, but this is just one-on-one -on -one good defense. Patience with Murray. Murphy, excuse me, not falling for the head fake, allowing the ball to come to him to deflect. Penetrando. Driblando en el codo, se voltea, lanza del fin, away, aire. Qué linda tapa, eh, no la tapa. Se la alcanzaba a tocar. Es así de simple. Dole Jai, mide 6-10, saca 3 pulgadas, esencialmente Jake Huff. Tapona, Murphy. Taponazo cuando Alan Griffin buscaba. It's BC led by 7 late in the first half. Virginia has built a 25-6 run. the game. Horton, a very dangerous three-point man for the Panthers, 37%. Will settle for two. Kihei Clark has 17 points, Johnson has 16. Virginia won a close game at Pittsburgh, but right now, Xavier Johnson has never beat. Debron nearly had his pocket pick, a drive to the basket. Standing there for 20 minutes waiting for him, and he just ran right into him. Who knew that embraced it? I just like the fact that he didn't give us the canned answer. And he said, look, this is one of my goals when I came here. Good for him. Six turnovers down for Virginia. That mark. Heading to the basket. Count the bucket. What did Tony Bennett say to us the other day? He said, I'm still working on my rotation in a lot of ways. A lot of young people is at Oak. Virginia. Box to box, high post. Timmy just keeps his guy busy, enables this happen to happen. Did the Kyle had that magnificent win early? So that's a nice year. No look pass cut off, and here come the step. And he came into the game shooting 46% from three on the season. Moore with a strong drive, and Huff, who's a tour Carolina, tremendous on the offensive glass. Well, second in the nation on the offensive boards. Had a good shot, right? This is Cormac Ryan, the transfer from Stanford. Inside to Durham, who's played for over a year. Enough Virginia games going back four or five years where you're just used to seeing uh, scores like this where teams are. Hit that, so <laughs> I would not recommend that workout for you. Uh, but my goodness, uh, that is certainly creative. Uh, Five to shoot. Alvarado on the drive, right into the lane, goes up strong. Also, a very good passer as well. 37% of the season from beyond the arc for Hauser. That one knocked away by Murphy. Yep, it's really great to see. For the last five years, number one in the nation in scoring defense for Virginia. But don't forget that Virginia... The easiest thing, one, to, to play for your dad, and then also to be an assistant coach for your dad. Wick got fouled, but they were... For the Cavaliers. Well, I know one thing. As a player, if you sit me or you don't start me, um, you're going to get... These years wondering when he would take the next step. And, and yeah, he's the old man on the team by his own admission. And in a span of just months, he went from engaged... Penetrando, driblando en el codo, se voltea, lanza del fin, away, aire. Qué linda tapa. Absolutely right. Hauser and Murphy, Hauser two years ago, Murphy last year combined made almost as many three-pointers of them. But oftentimes against this Virginia defense throughout the past 12 years, Tony Bennett has been at Virginia. Teams can't even get those looks. The shot clock violations that used to get the two. Started 12 of the last 14 games for the Owls coming in here. Elbow right. Edwards clangs a jumper. And quite so fast. That's these rims were tightened right to right to perfection. Little shooters touch with those rims. There's Edwards on the other end. Peterson ball hit away by Martin, but Smith controls, passes up to Nuttall. Nuttall elevates left free throw line, extended off. During a segment of practice every day, and that's what they work on. Their threes. Gibson off balance gets out. Bell, which is something we've seen a little bit uh, this year, a yeah, little bit more. It's a point of concern for the officials. Can shoot the three and can play almost anywhere on the floor. 
including handle the basketball. Here's a guy that can handle it, J.B. on Hamlet lifting. As long as the Golden Eagles will take care of the basketball and no unforced turnovers, Jay Malone pulling up a jump shot. Man, when you're feeling it, you're going to have to have a game. It's tough. That makes it for the lack of size. The left hand teardrop right there. Right now, he's got seven points. I'll get it, but the two that are good at the best competition is the Leon. He's trying to find his rhythm. They got that second chance opportunity off the backboard, off the rim, and uh, could not capitalize. Andrew's near side. Yeah, FAU doesn't have a lot of time. They're in a sense of, in, of urgency right now. Andrews can't get it to two-point deficit has been extinguished. Well, they couldn't pick a better time to do it. And a chance to take the lead. The Owls. Hard play from 1988 to 1992. Pull-up jumper for Hollinsworth is in and out. False. Hilltopper searching for the first field goal in four minutes. And Rawls misfires. And St. Thomas has the rock. Jogging it up ahead is Robinson. Back left to Shaw. Slides to the right straight on. 17 feet. Goes to the rebound. Coming right to left for the HBU Huskies. DuBose going on the block. A little up and under on Murphy that he scoops. As of late, they lost to Texas Southern in a hard-fought game. 76-73 for wins all time. Yeah, what a great milestone. I remember Coach Price getting over the 200 wins last season. It was a Northwestern came back and won that one. Nice. Whoa, look at that. Rice leads 63 to 42. Here's up top, three is up by Jingle, short to the left. In the second half, and that makes it a 10 point lead. Demons are gonna need to be very good. Brian White, right elbow jumper, good. Here's Havens. Havens left wing, trying to break down Murphy. Angles in, Murphy blocks his second shot. Man by McCarthy. Give him the handoff to Culver. Culver drives, free throw line stops, fades, cannot hit. Look like Bobles got it and push it up ahead. Left side, Holst, the lefty below the free throw line. 14 footer off, Eden Jones. Both teams looking to shoot a lot of threes early. I'd like to see one of these teams try to get some action going to the basket. Jesse There's Sills something. may have heard you. Clark, as usual, gets right back in defensive position. You said yesterday, Corey, you thought Clark should have been on the all-defensive team. On the floor in comparison to Reese Beek, but now Kihei Clark has four shooters on the perimeter to take his options for finding that assist. Yeah, well, Where Syracuse's back line defenders on that zone are normally collapsing back in, they have stayed out against Virginia. This time they... Just punches it away, jostled it away, and... Now Middle Tennessee has it left to right. Johnson drives. Cradles on Murphy. Could not hit the... Quick points! A microwave off the bench gives the Owls a 13-10 lead. Now Martin trying to respond with a three. That hurt. At the lift, the open the middle, able to really penetrate easily. Clark's first bucket of the night. Kispert for three. Yo, motion. Watch it. The beneficiary. Here's Kispert. For three again. Richard Sophomore, the transfer from TCU. That's a long one there.
It looks like it will. Coach Bayheim has just summoned Alan Griffin. Great Davis in the game out of Indianapolis. On the baseline, a little pop by Williamson. Kurt has been down. terrific. Uh, Walker, you know, pick a guy on Florida State, right? He's just having to pick Walker. But Hauser, terrific. Global trying to cut in. They'll swing it up top. Szczynski can't hit. Hang off the dribble drive and try to be a threat. And McCoy starting in place of Huff. They doubled Nasir Brooks and be able to get out of that. Almost turned it. clock inside 10. Stewart, the leading freshman scorer in the ACC this year. Off to Wendell Moore Jr., who's been playing some really good basketball. In the second half to Notre Dame, they came back and won. Buddy Beheim had 29 and that big win for the Orange. Syracuse J. Ralph Sampson has more blocks than the second, third, and fourth guys combined on the Virginia career list. Great play by Murphy. Georgia Tech has been able to get a shot clock violation against Virginia in this first half. And Virginia's offense, which has been great. Otto. Tony yeah, Bennett wanted it. Yeah, it was close to near. It actually was a double dribble. <laughs> Alvarado fortunate. The officials didn't have a good angle on that. Fadeaway jumper. Goodwin does a nice job getting it. just missed their last four shots, and they haven't scored in over two and a half minutes. An opportunity for Towson to try and knife into this deficit. Uh, difficult four shots. Apona, Murphy. Y huella. Y Jay Clark puso la pausa y dijo tranquilos y repentinamente llegó la Ali de la esquina. Trey Murphy con otro gran corte. Murphy run for the Cavs. As they've tied it up. Lankford tries to knife through, but a travel. Clearing up for Hunter. Steps back. I'm Hands it off to Xavier Green. He's yet to get on the board. X, nice crossover move. Puts it on the deck, throws it up. No, but it'll get to the line for two. More Green. Murphy's on him. Xavier Green going to work. Nice crossover. Gets to the paint, throws it up. No good. Tapped up. No good. Re on more. Back to the trailer, Johnson. Now he hits it over to Reader. Reader on Murphy. Drew some contact. Ed arcs a high pass left side to Edwards. Couple of jabs, stares at the timer, drives, rocks, and lays it in. Side of the rim. Again, a wide open shot. Uh, Alex, you couldn't get it more wide open than that. Hawkins to the rim. Reverse layup is good. Not Eight on the shot clock. Get it to Hawkins up top. Hawkins, reverse layup. Oh, wow, what a move. 13 here in this Sunday afternoon affair. Owls previously 2-0 and on Sundays and 4-0 and on day games. Up top, Smith. Format, uh, but it makes it interesting. I agree. And to be able to clinch something at this. Gray today, Rice wearing their navy blues. High post, here's Scurry. Scurry puts it down, goes right to the rim, puts it off the glass, no good. It's all Owls so far tonight. First double-digit lead for either side. Loven from the high post, attacks the rack, can't finish, tried to get his own miss. And trips down the court, the Rice Owls have forced a turnover. Let's see what happens this time against this defense of the Rice Owls. Southern Miss trying to get near Coach Kyle Rohn, their first conference win here in Hattiesburg. Tyler Stevenson working, pulls up a shot there, and Stevenson... Yeah, Doug, they needed that. They, they needed something to... Give them a little bit of a boost here, but they've got to get better on this end. Trying to find behind it. It's literally unbeatable. And that's got to be a, a mental thing and of intimidation when teams come into this building. Go challenge you on the boards. They're one of the best teams in Conference USA on the boards. Chris Mullins, the miss. Winchester to the rim, 4 0. Zemichich, the block of the Josh Paris shot. Blackshear. Taylor. AU when making at least nine three pointers in a game. They're up to seven. Make That's it eight. Adams with eight in the game. 41 35. Six point game here is George driving. Rice by 13. 34 to 21 over visiting St. Thomas. Not a long road trip for them. Left wing Shaw fading the three. Robinson. 
Rides into the corner, brings it down, gets Murphy, stops, pivots in the paint, goes for the scoop shot, that's high up the window. Judy with eight and a half rebounds a game for the Demons coming in. Bile will drive with the left hand, take it all the way in, and he is fouled. Front court, that one's almost turned over. Judy A. Bile on the right wing. Bile crosses over, step back three on the way, front iron no good. Looking for the high screen from Jamari Gregg, flips it back to Bile. Bile's going to drive with the right hand, take it in, off glass. That one rattles and... Yes, getting set to check in for the Demons. Ball at the top, Chudy A. Bile. Bile crosses over, steps through. Tough shot off glass is no good. Haven's couple of squeaks gets it up to Culver. Culver, their stud shooter, 0 of 1 the first four minutes of the game. Left side to Obenwise. And rebounds three blocks in last night's game. 53-36, Rice by 17. Culver spinning in the paint. Flip... Stay home with the outside shooters, especially since Rice is having so much success from behind the third. Because the game is about trying to minimize the bad turnovers. Those big sixes you were talking about. That's a bad turnover. Right. <laughs> of the half, who can close the half off at a high level to get some momentum going into the locker room at halftime? Well, if you're going to leave him that open, he'll go ahead and pull the trigger. 12 rebounds a game. He's one of the great rebounders in the country. Kulabali in heavy traffic. That's deflected. Brothers at Indiana back in 1964. They both averaged over 20 a game. And they played on the inverse Duke. Kind of changed the fortunes of this team right now, but still trying to find a way to get back into the NCAA tournament hunt. Horton with a quick dish inside for Tim Penny, but see how low that screen and roll action is. Normally you see that well beyond the three-point line, but once Kia Clark comes off that screen, he's all up. Hauser with a sweet touch. As you said, as we came on the air, Sam Hauser does not worry about the rim. Oh, what a to see him taking more shots because Devin Daniels' absence for the remainder of the year leaves 13 field goal attempts on average. Liam Fort Allen's trip to the basket. Reese Beekman getting down there to knock it away. Now Beekman caught up and blocked the ball. Kind of this season, they had a beautiful wedding just outside of Charlottesville. Not many in attendance. Coach Bennett said he was there though on Zoom. Court dotting opportunity, a place where typically Virginia makes you pay when you give them a bonus possession. Couldn't do so. Post feed for Bates. He drops it off to the assistant director of basketball operations, Chris Zupko for the Wolfpack, who you know, has many duties, but also among those is procuring ice cream. Great back cut, but man, Virginia's struggling to score a little bit. You gotta make them shoot, not lay it in. Them Hart. And now Timmy backs his way in. Fadeaway jumper at the... After that loss, he said the next day, mm. and they started psychologically reaching one another. Look at the strength. By... And it's interesting, Jay, because... It's...
Debron nearly had his pocket pick. A drive to the basket. Standing there for 20 minutes waiting for him, and he just ran right into him. Who knew that embraced a pick? Hold the 10 side, 43% from three point range for the year. Beheim blocked by Murphy. Over as a staff before a game. Baseline out of bounds. Particularly Hauser. Yeah, fight number 10, mm -hmm. and on the other end. Ray Davis in the game, out of Indianapolis. On the baseline, a little pop by Williamson. Kurt has been now. terrific. Uh, Walker, you know, pick a guy on Florida State, right? He's just having to pick Walker. But Hauser, terrific. Bobo trying to cut in. He'll swing it up top. Zizinski can't hit. When our prodding bigs were like, well, they can't guard this four can step out and shoot like a Kevin Pitch Doggle. If everybody remembers Ooh. it from West Virginia or Karan Butler. Six turnovers down for Virginia. That Hart heading to the basket. Count the bucket. Virginia. Box to box, high post. Timmy just keeps his guy busy, enables this happen to happen. The basket missed the layup now.
Brian Corey Alexander coming to you from our homes. We're getting a look at a couple of outstanding ACC Player of the Year candidates certainly on the way. Champagne's got to get rolling. Into the lane, he goes strong, tried to bank it, but not there for him. And able to put the press on. D. Brown with a wild look as he tumbled toward the bat. Thomas Allen, elbow jumper with a high bounce, backboard and rim. And a ground ball coming out from has done that when he has taken the ball into the lane using that pivot foot, using his long arms. And he's, I was to say, he's very... And we mentioned so that North Carolina Kevin State haven't made any threes in the second half. They've made two here in the last couple of possessions. On offense, as it was in late January, JPJ. That was a game where Virginia had 23 assists. First bucket of the game for Gerard. Now one out of five from the field, one out of four from three. But you did that subconsciously. You said triple by. In the lane, putting it up for Manny Bates, who then recollects, and Helms, who is dangerous from 17 feet and in. Misses. <laughs> I don't Spot know up by Withers. Can't stick it. At least you're, you're pretty not good. Sitting. Here's Jones trying to penetrate. Off the back of that iron. And a big rebound here in the first half. Approaching the two minute mark. Well, it's a tough move inside. And another block this time. Hauser and Huff were all over him. With a victory, they're less than a minute away from doing exactly that here in Louisville, Kentucky today. I would argue that yeah, this team seemed like they were separating themselves along with Florida State and the ACC, then losing three straight, one to Duke. Movement of basketball, allowing for driving lanes. Good help side contest from Huff, degree of difficulty high. Virginia goes against that, definitely to at least notch one win. I think they need to get their next three games. Yeah, I think, uh, I think they gotta get those two and then probably two. better legitimately in season by your second team challenging your first team second guys emerge into the rotation by playing well against the first team Jay Huff even though he is mobile tried to switch there but both Marcel and Huff ran away from the ball and work so it'll be more well that felt like a missed opportunity on that trip for dirt of the season Final seconds of the half. Evans couldn't get it to go. Ends up going to, you know, the ACC championship team. And right now, that's between Virginia and Florida State as well, knocking one down at over seven feet tall. Just to match their season high in threes, Calhoun a miss. They are willing to play as hard as they can for as long as they can. They know they're going to come out and go back in. So they may play. Those shots could change the coverage from Georgia Tech. Could be a confidence builder for Beak, but it was just one for four in the win against Pitt. I would say the smallest guy on the floor, but Bubba Parham is out there beside Alvarado, so Parham will be the smallest, but no way Jose Alvarado is supposed to get that rebound amongst the three point distance. DJ Clark. And now nine points for Clark. The vote was fenced in by Murphy. Moses right pulls the trigger, left it short. Tres series consecutivas, KJ Clark se estaciona entre medio de las dos líneas zonales y a partir de allí fabrica ofensiva, sea adentro, sea afuera. Le penetra, encuentra en el centro después a Jay Huff y quien ocupa el lugar de Clark es Hauser, que desde allí lastima con otro triple más. Mensaje de 10, que saca 3 pulgadas, esencialmente Jay Huff. Apona, Murphy. Aponazo que queda finalmente Marek Dolayay con el rebote. Intento de triple del lado derecha, termina fallando. De nuevo pa Atrás con la finta, el intento del triple. En el lado cuando se acabó el tiempo. Lo intentaba Quincy que... Ganando Barry Boheim. Dolayay. Falla. El rebote que bien se queda con el Murphy. El tercero. Oh, es importante. Barry Boheim con el jumper. Fallando el rebote que consigue finalmente Murphy. To beating Kihei Clark. This is a rivalry game. Those 50-50 balls so crucial. You're spot on. Gotten back to what Virginia is. A very difficult team to score against. 
It's been nearly a year since this game is. Cone off the screen. Still ice cold. He is two. It was rocking. It sold out. Well, we welcome you to Little John Coliseum in Clemson, South Carolina for a battle of two top 20 teams inside the ACC. Clemson 40% three-point shooter. Trey Murphy and Casey Morsell, who went three for three from beyond three-point arc against Notre Dame, playing better offensively. So Rich Kelly. Murphy lets fly. He's off to a chilly start. Pit back on top by one here in Charlottesville. Pit along. Kihei Clark has 17 points. Johnson has 16. Virginia won a close game at Pittsburgh. But right now, Xavier Johnson has never beaten. Ebron picked it up, put it up, and now Bates collects. The shot clock resets to 20 from the corner of the three-pointer. And we're 11 and 2. Going into that game against Virginia Tech, they lose 65-51. And that clipped the wings on their 15-game ACC winning streak. The men's squad right now down by just four against Virginia, trying to take down the number one team in the ACC. It's simple. Unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase with no annual fee. No need to jump through any crazy hoops. What's in your wallet? Hi. On the floor. Oh, but again, there's a lot of pressure on the officials to get the call right, and that's what they're trying to do. And again, yep. Clark, as usual, gets right back in defensive position. You said yesterday, Corey, you thought Clark should have been on the all-defensive team. Foul trouble much of the first half. Big performance for Braswell. He's got off to a great start here today, as has Justin McCoy, who scored 14 points in his last... Clark, Braswell will run it down. He wastes no time. Boy, is he confident. Sean, you talked about yet And the pack, both executing early. Zebron to the corner. Helms lets it fly. The three on defense certainly qualifies among those, but the post double is a staple for them to be able to do those things and draw on the whiteboard. Here's the line where you guys are currently playing. I just like the fact that he didn't give us the canned answer. And he said, look, this is one of my goals when I came here. Good for him. Hope we'll start the following week, both in Greensboro Coliseum. If you want to attend, 25% capacity as Alani pulls up. Go on a ticket match. Guys, so taking you out of your natural defensive instinct allows for those open looks. Murphy just can't finish. Gusty on the step. Came onto our team and was an instant impact guy. About the same size, same delivery with the shot, same efficiency, and really came in and had an impact on our Notre Dame team. Much Out of a, a horn set for him to post up Kihei Clark, and Clark stayed on top of him, and th there was good pressure on the ball. So Dominated this series of late. They've won six in a row. That's the longest winning streak that Virginia has had against North Carolina since this series first started back in America. They've got two points in the first seven minutes. And when you're down nine to Virginia, it feels like you're down double that. So it's a dangerous start for Carolina. Still on the right side of the bubble, but they have dug themselves an early double-digit hole against a great defensive team as Playtech tries a three. That's off the mark as a three seed. And Dick Vitale, Virginia right now is the only team in the ACC listed as either a one, two, three. He's had a couple of buckets off the bench. Five points for World of Tensafi. He's tied with Clark now for game high honors. Nobody for Florida State in double digits yet. Feels like a big possession. Big size advantage for Gray on Clark, but he pulled it back out. There's regular three. Nobody there for Virginia on the offensive glass. And it was pulled down by Raekwon Gray. Calhoun. Polite wide open. 
A couple of weeks ago, we saw Georgia Tech can 16 three-pointers coming off of a COVID pause and a victory. Otto, Tony yeah, Bennett wanted it. Yeah, it was close to near. It actually was a double triple. <laughs> Alvarado fortunate. The officials didn't have a good angle on that. From the bench and Malcolm, without fans, the energy, the boost that Coleman gives this Cavaliers team has been huge. It absolutely is. It's a great story, but all open dunk. That's unbelievable court awareness and vision by Kihei Clark. Clark all over Prentice up. Forces a deep three from inside to Durham. He's doing it all right now. Leshevsky with it in trouble. Passes out of it. Goodwin a deep three. Huff provides that rim protection and uh, their guards uh, do an amazing job in terms of putting pressure uh, on the opposing backwards. If we can try to turn them over, remember Jay, in that game against Clemson, uh, they had 30 points off of 20 Clemson turnovers. Change height advantage and yet can't cash in. Trailing three, Usher. It's good! Falla. El rebote que lo venía consiguiendo Alan Griffin. En transición quedó solo. Para intentar el triple. Tenía Alan Griffin. Ideas defensivas. Yard. Ahora el intento de triple. Desde el techo del dirigible. Virginia ganando la Syracuse. Estaba Marek Doleyae. Huella. Y Hey Clark puso la pausa, dijo tranquilos y repentinamente llegó la Ali de la esquina. Trey Murphy con otro gran corte. Paso. Ahí tiene que lanzar Clark. Desde la esquina. Quedó libre. Intentaba el Tech has not scored since the 6 minute and 10 second mark. The Virginia D has clamped down on him. Kevin Aluma, Dustin Champagne, he's been terrific for Pitt. Credit Jeff Capel and staff. He has just continued to get better as we fall defense. Said for a freshman, he's picked up the way we play really quick. A lean off the screen. Hits the Virginia Tech and imagine what Castle Coliseum would sound like if it was rocking and sold out. Both teams ranked in the top five each of the last season's two meetings. Here, 43-19, a dominating. I felt like this Virginia team could defend and win another national championship. The defense was not where the offense was. And we welcome you here to Charlottesville, Virginia. Early on in the first half, the Pitt Panthers looking for an upset over the number 14 team in the country, the Virginia Cavaliers. Dave O'Brien, Corey Alexander coming to you from our homes. We're getting a look at a couple of outstanding ACC. Less frequently per game are Miami and Notre Dame, so the top three all in the ACC. A double hop. Huff, by the way, four block shots today. They go with his 13 points and 11 rebounds. Three minutes to go. Breaking from Virginia will be magnified. Can they make the proper decision? One of the advantages, too, in Darion Sebron getting a little bit more playing time for NC State that has been talked about is Tony Bennett, this team is pretty small in terms of its numbers. They only play 20% of the bench, bench minutes, which is bottom 30 in the nation. So he leans on the starters a lot, but these bench guys, Justin McCoy in particular, Kafaro, really good basketball to beat Virginia because Virginia is going to capitalize off mistakes, and they're not going to make too many. Virginia had four turnovers in that first half, and now they're beginning to separate themselves by generating some turnovers from this game. Like so many times we've seen with this this Who's program, the defense king the offense on the other end. So it was an assistant to Kyle. Had that magnificent win early. Should have a nice year. No look pass cut off. And here come the Cavaliers. The Euro step his way to the basket. Missed the layup. Now Duke in transition. Got to keep an eye on Joey Baker beyond the arc. He puts it on the deck and turns it over to Murphy. Tries to wrestle it away from him, and then Murphy eventually threw it away along the baseline. Nice job by R.J. Davis to get the steal. Well, Clark was up in the air. He left his feet on the drive. Had nowhere to go with the ball. They turn it right back to him. He died in November of 2020 at the age of 100.
and his son, Paul Tudor Jones, has done an amazing job helping so many with his generosity, including us. The redshirt year, so paid for over a year. Towson, the Cavaliers from the floor. And this is not representative of how Virginia has been playing or how they can play. An illegal screen. Tamari falla. El que buscaba a Francisco Cafaro, el argentino, el de Santa Fe, el Papi Cafaro. Aquí viene recuperando a Kihei Clark. Así es, me va. Well, from beyond the arc, and they start off with threes. Stolen away. Here's Murphy in transition, and he's festively. It's been all Virginia in the last five minutes. Well, Kebe Aluma obviously it starts with him, uh, but they have to stop turning it over again. Right now, that Virginia defense really, with the exception. One of these seats or somewhere closer to the floor. But we're going to have issues. We're going to have yeah, issues, I'm telling you right now. If I'm not one of those cardboard cutouts, I'm calling somebody at the university. We need